Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome back to another brand new Elden Ring PvP build video, and today we have a nice theme around everyone's favorite warrior jar, Iron Fist Alexander. So without further ado, let's dive into exactly what this build all contains. Starting with the equipment, we have Jar Cannon, we have the Star Fist, and we have a Seal. Now the reason we are using the Jar Cannon is because it's a damn jar, and we can't do an Iron Fist build without using the Jar Cannon. But what we're pairing with the Jar Cannon to make it so great is the Lightning Great Bolt and the Explosive Great Bolt. And the idea behind using these arrows with the Jar Cannon is to knock people off ledges when we invade them. Because that's really where this build shines. It's when you invade people in areas with a lot of cliffs and ledges and you try to knock them off. So it really excels at long range. We want to avoid mid-range because at mid-range, we're going to get absolutely destroyed because of our long reload time with the Jar Canyon. That really can't be, you know, skipped. But we do have options for close range once they close the distance with us. And that's where the Star Fist and the uh, Seal come into play. Any Seal will work, but let's start with the Star Fist. With Starfish, we put Earthshaker on it. And what you're going to see with this uh, ability or skill is that we can absolutely wreck people at close range. And because of the way our stats are set up, we can tank a lot of damage regardless of what it is, which allows us to get Earthshaker off. And we can literally wipe out three people no problem. And the reason for that is because of a piece of equipment that is paired with it. And then, of course, the seal. We use uh, Rejection, which is a faith spell that sends out a force to shove people. So we can knock them down. So we can maybe run away to allow us a little recovery. You know, heal, drink some mask magic or whatever. Or we can knock them off ledges and send them to their deaths. And then, of course, we also have Magma Breath along with it so what this does is it shoots out magma onto the ground which if people walk through it they take damage and even though a lot of people will avoid this which it's pretty easy to avoid it unless you're in really tight spaces but that's where the rejection spell could be comboed with the magma breath is that when someone walks around it you can then either shoot the ground with a jar cannon to knock them into the magma or you can use the rejection spell to push them back into the magma. So it really pairs well with this. And we don't really use much else outside of that. And then for uh, armor, I use the veteran's armor because I like the way it looks with the jar helmet. It just aesthetically, it just makes sense to me. And then of course we have the Ur Tree Favor Plus 2 for HP, Stamina, and Equip Load. We have Alexander's Shard, which greatly boosts the attack power skills, which is what makes Earthshaker so damn deadly. And then we got the Great Jar Arsenal, which vastly raises equipment load, which allows you to basically wear as heavy as armor as you want. And you can even switch up the weapons if you didn't want to use the Star Fist. But with Alexander being Iron Fist Alexander, it seemed right to use a fist weapon. Now, when you're seeing the clips from this build after I'm done explaining all of this, you will see me using an axe because I'm like, okay... I'm going to use an axe with this build. I think that could work. But then I'm like, it just didn't feel right. It didn't make sense. I was dying too much in close range situations. So finally, I settled on the Star Fist with the Earthshaker ability. And it's worked out really, really well. So I'm happy I went with that. And then last but not least, we have the Companion Jar, which raises potency of throwing pots. So any kind of pots that you craft or jars... Their damage is going to be boosted. Now, I use fire pots in the Ancient Dragon pot to kind of just pair with the lightning and fire theme. I'm keeping with kind of the entire build or magma and faith, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, Alexander is such a noble warrior to me. So it just kind of makes sense. But you could easily use all kinds of different jars, you know, use an oil jar to coat your enemies and then hit them with the fire pot. And then, of course, you know, Estus, magic, you know, you do whatever you want with that. And then with the Flask of Wondrous Physic, I have Crimson Burst Crystal Tear, which steadily restores HP for a time, and then Crimson Bubble Tear, which restores HP when near death to just kind of save us in bad situations. And then, of course, this is a Soul Level 150 build with 60 Vigor because we want to be a tank. Mind is 15. We're not worried about FP. Endurance is Strength is 44 and 40 because, you know, we need that endurance for when we're attacking with our skills and our fist. And then, of course, we also need, you know, the uh, 
Faith up a little bit and the Arcane up a little bit. That way we have more access to Faith in Fire-type spells. And if I had to make one change to this build, I would... I'm not really sure what I would change, actually. I would like the ability to have more access to Faith spells or more Fire-type spells. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the way this all looks. But a lot of you, if you go and try this build out, maybe you can, you know, experiment with some things and have some fun. And then, of course, last but not least, for a summon when you're playing PvE, just to kind of keep the theme going, I have the Soldiers of Fortune Ashes. Haha, <laughs> I love that joke, but, you know, just, just, just for the fun of it, they really suck, but, hey, you know what? That's not what it's about. It's about having fun and representing everyone's favorite jar the best way we possibly can. But with all of that said, I think it's time I show all of you how this build actually works in action. Oh, you picked him. Oh, yes! Yes! I got him! I got a two for one! God, that's so ridiculous. That's so ridiculous! Got him! I got him with the jars! Yes! Oh, uh, goodbye! <laughs> Got you. You guys are fucked. Come here! Your host is gone! Bye bye! <laughs> Doing? Are you just gonna stand there? Oh my god. I knocked him off the ledge! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, get absolutely destroyed! Get him! Yes! He's gone! I didn't get the host, but I don't care. I got his friend! Yes! You just made a mistake stopping. <laughs> oh! Oh, get absolutely wrecked. Man, I love that attack. That is so much fun. You know what? I don't care about your damn attacks. Get that shit out of here. Whoever lands the next hit wins. Got him. I am the champion. Yes. Oh, what a battle. Oh, I shocked him. He almost went off the edge. Oh, God. He's so close. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Bye. Got you. <laughs> oh, you fucked up. You fucked up. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, isn't that a shame? Good job, guys, you know. Our teamwork is top-notch, we just really gave him the one-two punch that just really sent him to another afterlife, where he can really experience what Elden Ring is all about. Dying. <laughs>